Hey guys and welcome to another episode of our African Academy series here on FIFA 18. If you guys have not seen last episode make sure you go and watch it. The link will be in the description of this video as always and the link to the playlist as well if you're new and you want to watch from the very start uh, there's a link to the playlist as well. So uh, plan is today another video. Uh, today being Saturday the 2nd of December and this will be the second recording I've done today Episode number 24 would have been made today as well. Um, so I'm in the mood to play some more. And obviously I can't play more without recording it because then you guys would miss out on a lot of stuff. Um, but yeah, personally I just want to keep playing this all day, every day. But I don't want to make too many videos in one go because then I'd have nothing else to do within the week and things like that. So um, yeah, we currently sit 8th in the table after oh if for, for those guys who did watch last episode they would have known that i won two games out of three and drew the last game against barry nil nil uh, so we are in eighth position now six wins out of 15 four draws and five losses 30 goals scored the most in the league surprisingly enough and we're still in eighth position but then we've conceded 27 goals that might be the worst in the league as well oh no okay so we were the first the, th the first the third worst defensive team in the league uh, second to Portsmouth and Notts County who are both in relegation so we need to work on our defensive game a little bit transfer window is coming up soon we are in November and um, only uh, so how many games we've got so we've got four games the rest of the month then we've got five games so nine games away from the transfer window and up until that point we still got players up on the transfer list for us to sell hopefully we do sell some We've got some transfers gone through already. Uh, let's have a look to see. Oh, yeah. See who we've got gone already. So, we have Ruben Salaru, Unisi Kawasi, Didier Diallo, and David Okara. They're all going to their respective clubs. I think two of them two of them are going to Morocco. One of them's going to Dro Drogada, and one's going to Bohemian FC. Uh, and we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine players still ready. To, uh, to be sold so hopefully we get about half a million pounds minimum from the rest of those players and the budget of the money we got coming for the players already sold so we can possibly get a better defensive uh, player whether, whether that being a defensive midfielder like to replace Bada or a left back to replace Tag Maui because uh, Gazelle's fairly oh he's really new Verdon's new but he's our best rated centre back Dosu as well is, is doing good for for who he is as a defender. So uh, he's going to stay there. Um, but other than that, I don't think I need to improve the team other than defensively. But our first con um, monthly scan update comes from Morocco. We've got Kadir Kluchi, another goalkeeper. These are all goalkeepers, mind. Because um, our scout is out for nine months for a goalkeeper in Morocco. So we've got Kadir Kluchi. Going to reject him. Liamine Belgazi. We'll keep him there. Uh, Anwar Chekamani, I like that name, but his potential not that good. Abdallah Taha, we're going to reject him. And uh, Issam Mamiri, we're going to keep him there. Six foot six, hopefully he turns out to be a decent goalkeeper. Uh, we're going to keep those two guys there. And then we're just going to advance uh, with the rest of it. Hopefully we can get someone decent in the, in the next update. Uh, monthly scan update though second one of the episode already uh, so we've got Jamal Zouabri we added him last month uh, potential not great so we're going to reject him Idris Taha we've had him for two months so far we're going to keep him there for another month Abdel Kader Tagmawi another Tagmawi player we're going to keep him there and we've got Brahim Selmi uh, his overall is okay his potential not great we'll keep him there just in case he does go up another overall so I'm not going to sign anyone uh, yet for this month uh, in the monthly scan update. So here we are, first game of the episode. We are away at Mansfield Town. Uh, the stadium's called Field Mill. Bit of uh, a different name, I suppose, uh, to most stadiums. But uh, they're playing in the home kit. We're in our black away kit. Uh, last episode, I think we played both home kits, so that was probably the Scunthorpe game. But they've only got one more win than us, uh, but we've got one more loss than them. So other than that, we're pretty much the same terms. We just need to win this game, and we definitely will jump them in the table. So we'll see how it goes. It's Mansfield Town against Yeovil Town. 
Oh, Diaby's won it back here. I did burp a little bit before that happened. Julius Lowell. Oh, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. And it's 1 0 to Yeovil Town. That chip was glorious. The keeper had no chance. Football from Nguemo. Lowell on his weaker foot. He did try and get it fair play to the keeper, but it's just gone too high for him. Shouts for offside as well from the defence of Mansfield Town, but it was onside. It's 1 0 to Oval Town. Can we get a chance before half time here? Nguemo needs to hold the ball. Oh, he's done well here, Nguemo. That's a ball in for Lowell with a diamond header. And it's 2 0. Julius Lowell with another goal. And he's going to go and celebrate with the Oval Town fans. Diallo and Nguemo celebrate with him. And it was a great ball in from Nguemo. He did two players. He did lose a tackle. But uh, he managed to keep his composure. Cross it in. And, uh, Julius Lowell was there with a the diamond header. And that's his uh, second goal of the game. Fourth goal in two episodes, I think. Something like that. So uh, well, Lowell is really starting to wake up now. His fourth goal of the season. He scored two goals against, um, I think it was Charlton. He's got another two goals here, right on the stroke of half-time as well. So I'm not going to um, cut this bit out because I think it's going to be half-time any second. There we go. It's 2-0 to Old Town at the break. Oh, it's a chance for Mansfield Town. They've just put it wide. Oh, it's a through ball. Anderson's through and it's gone in. The fence just fell asleep there. And uh, Anderson gets Mansfield Town back in the game. Hopefully they don't score another now. But a uh, guy holds the ball up there. I don't know his name. Through balls. Uh, Verdon just gave up on chasing it completely. And Benzepi got an arm to it. But uh, it wasn't enough. And it's 2-1 now to Oval Town. Oh, Lowell, he's through now. Julius Lowell on his hat trick. It's been saved. Can Nguemo get there? Oh, he can, but it's saved by the keeper. Lowell. Trying to play it through for Nguemo. Stefan Nguemo. Oh, he's put it wide. Nguemo. Nguemo. Into Diaby, and there's a third, and that surely now is game over. And uh, Mansfield really putting on pressure on us. But um, we, we prevail, it's another goal for us. And this time it's Diaby. Good work by Nguemo, doing a little bit of a spin there, giving to Diaby. Does take a touch off the goalkeeper, but it goes in. And it's 3 1 to Yeovil Town. Oh, Atkinson now. Puts the ball in. Oh, Grezel's missed it. And it's another goal for Mansfield Town in the 90th minute. All you have to do is head that away. Oh, I just, I'm just glad we scored that goal because otherwise we'd, we'd be drawing at the moment. The ball comes in. Gazal just out of position. Spence on the volley. And it's 3 2. There's a full time whistle. It's a 3 2 victory here against Mansfield Town at Field Mill. And uh, I think it's a deserved win for us. So, our second game of the episode is at home at Hewish Park against Luton Town, who uh, I don't think they got relegated last season. They stayed up. Uh, I don't remember them coming up with us. But uh, after a three, oh, I think it's four games now uh, where we haven't lost a game. So four games undefeated, which is good for us. We're up into third position now, which is insane. Um, we're up against a Luton Town team, which should be fairly decent. Um, I'm not quite sure where they are on the table. I didn't look before we started. Um, where are they? Oh, they're 10th. So not that far behind us. I mean, we're only 
16 games in, so they've got plenty of time to catch up. Um, but, yeah, hopefully it's another three points for us. It's Yeovil Town against Luton Town. Diaby's been pressured, or pressured the defender to giving it away. Lowell, that's a good ball in. Oh, and Guamo couldn't quite get there. Bad has got it, though. Tagmawi's there on the overlap. What can he do? And Guamo's shot's been blocked twice. And it's going to go out for a corner. Ball through Hilton. Passes it across goal. Gambin scores. And it was 1-0. Oh, it is 1-0 to Luton Town. Very quick build-up play there, right at the end. And just ripped us open. Let's see the replay again. Through ball. Quick pass in across goal. And Gambin finishes it. It's 1-0 to Luton Town. Diaby into Lowell. Back to Diaby. Ball in. And Guemo, he's at the bar. Oh, I wish I could get a front before half time. We couldn't. And it's 1 0 saluting at the break. Elvis here sending over the top for Nguemo. Nguemo. Oh, he's there. Elvis here. Shot's been blocked. Oh, Lowell's taking it off him. Shot's been saved. Oh, we should have scored there. Lee with a shot. I can't believe that's gone in. Oh, as soon as he shot, I saw the, the cross here go into the corner. I don't know whether to blame the goalkeeper for this or not, because look at this. First touch, shoots. That shouldn't really go in, but it's gone in. And it's 2-0 to Luton Town. Did he take a deflection? He didn't even take a deflection. It was just a really lucky chip. Just hit the post. He should have saved that. It's 2-0, though. Balls out wide for Dath again. And that's another goal. Where is the defence? Come on. And there's a full time whistle. I didn't even know what happened that game. It was just very, honestly, fucking shit that was. That was terrible defending. I need a new defence ASAP. So we've got a chance offer for Ahmed Hamid uh, from Drogada United. And uh, apparently we can count off a. Around £110,000. That's what we're going to try and get um, from the man of the, the assistant manager. I want to edit that and say no less than £95,000 because they've offered £94,000. So see what they say with that. So our third and final game of the episode is away against Coventry City in the Rico Arena. This is probably the biggest stadium we've played in so far. So uh, no pressure. And uh, after our loss against Luton Town last episode, hopefully we can turn it around. It's a midweek game, and it's against Coventry City. So it's Coventry against Yeovil Town. That was a through ball. Can he save it? No, he can't. And already, defensively, we're fucking poor. And it's 1-0 to Coventry. It's not that it's poor, it's just the pace. There's no pace in the defence at all. The keeper took ages to come off his line. But if you come out a bit quicker, you might have been able to save that. But um, Coventry take the lead very early on. Right, so we've got a free kick in a in a fairly dangerous position here. Uh, I'm not sure who's got good free kicks in the squad. And Gwenwa looks like the best free kick taker here. I'm just going to take a shot, see what happens. I'm not sure anything's going to happen from it. Oh, actually, it wasn't that bad. Good overlapping run from Gazel. Can we get something from this? I hope so. Lowell with the header. Get in. Come on, we needed that. Get the ball. Let's go get the ball. Come on. We're back in it. What a header from Lowell, though. Six foot three. That's why I need him in the middle instead of Nguemo. Because he can win headers like that. We're back in the game. Badder. Lowell. Into Nguemo with a header. What is that? Come on, you've got to get it on target. Elbasia to Nguemo out wide. 
Can he find Lowell? No, he's found Diallo instead. Lowell, yes, Lowell. Come on. First shot was saved, though, by the goalkeeper, which has uh, come off Diallo's head. And somehow, Dia um, Julius Lowell used a super extension on his neck to win that. On the stroke of half time, great ball in. Uh, unfortunate for Diallo to not get that, but thank God Lowell was there to finish it off. He, he beats a defender to it, landed on, on him awkwardly, but it's 2-1 now to Yeovil Town, and we take the lead for the first time this game. And there's the half time whistle, it's 2-1 to Yeovil Town at the Rico Arena. Oh, they threw on goal. It's going to be 2-1. Oh, 2 all. Good save from Ben Zachary, though. Oh, he's through again. It's Reed. And he scores this time. It's the pace. I don't have fucking pace. In defence. And they just have chances like that, where it's just a through ball to a guy with pace. And I can't do anything about it. And they score from it. Look at that. First touch takes it away from Mpeba. And the keeper takes, again, a while to come off his line. But it's 2 all, And we're drawing again. Diaby into Nguermo. No. Never mind. It's a full-time race, so it's a 2 all draw. I personally don't think we should have drawn that game. I think we should have won, but... Probably say I'm biased about that, but... Um, you didn't see the whole game, you're just seeing bits of it. But um, let's finish 2 all here at the Rico Arena. So at the end of this episode, we sit back down in ninth position. Um, we've dropped a few places uh, since uh, last episode. I think we're well, not far from where we were last episode, but we're down in ninth position. Only losing one game this episode. And uh, we are on 26 points. It's, it's still very tight, 18 games in. But um, we still got a lot of games to go. I think it's 20, 28 games to go, something like that. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and click the notifications button as well, just so you know when I upload. I upload every other day except for weekends when I post uh, the Saturday and the Sunday. But, um, but yeah, again, thank you guys for watching, uh, and I'll see you in the next episode.